What up, y'all? How y'all doing out there in YouTube world? Uh, this is EB, and I'm about to show you guys how to rewire Reason in the Pro Tools, Reason 5. So let's get started. Now, um, I pre-compose my songs in Reasons, and then I bring it into Pro Tools for many reasons. Pro Tools has better sound quality, better flexibility. I arrange it in Pro Tools. Um, I add more sounds, hardware sounds. Uh, you name it. So let's get started. Go to File, Track, New Track, Stereo, Instrument Track. Then you click this Add button right here. Stereo Audio Track. And let's make eight instrument tracks and eight audio tracks. Click Create. Now, on this first insert, let's pull up Reasons. Now, when Reasons open up, it's going to change the tempo of your song. So you have to remember what tempo your song was once you open up your track in Pro Tools. So open up this track I've been working on. Okay. Take that over. Now the tempo of my song is 146, so I'm going to change it to 146. Now if you notice, the tempo changes in Pro Tools as well. Now, press the tab button on your keyboard and it's going to open up the back of Reasons. Now I know what you're thinking, it's, it looks super complicated, but it's not. Uh, these are all the devices that are used for my sounds and they all go into one section which is the mixer and the mixer goes into the audio out of reasons so we're gonna disconnect these two you just right click and hit disconnect and now you have a whole section free where you can plug into reasons now if you have more tracks than I do you can just right click um, no you can just this this option right here you just click more audio and more audio is going to open up for you so it's unlimited basically okay now you're going to take the first input and you're going to put it up here one put these two on two two three three four Four, five, five, six, six, seven, okay, great. Now, your sounds is now coming out of reasons and ready to be accepted in anything. So let's open up Pro Tools to receive the sound. So on your second instrument track, you're going to open up another reason. Boom. Now this box is going to pop up. You're just going to change it to three and four. Open up another one on the other instrument track. Change that to five and six. Reason. Seven and eight. Reason. Nine and ten. Eleven and twelve. Thirteen and fourteen. And fifteen and sixteen. Okay, great. So now, if you hit play, it should work. Let's bring this over here.
audio coming into Pro Tools. So let's go to our mixer. Close that. Bring that down. Now, let's solo a couple of tracks and see what happens. Okay. Now, say we want to get this instrument to an audio track and record something. Record what's on it. So you're going to go to the output, make it bus 1 and 2, make it any bus you want. And on your first audio track, you're just going to make, make it bus 1 and 2 on the input. Solo that, hit record enable. Now you got this audio that's coming out of this audio track, this instrument track, excuse me, to this audio track. Let's get another one up here. Bus, make this bus three and four. And then on this audio track, input bus three and four. Great. Now, say you're ready to record. Let's hit record and see what happens. That's it man so i hope you guys learned something i hope i wasn't moving too fast for you guys if you have any questions leave your comments email me i will definitely get back to you so happy recording and i'll see you guys next time